Hey folks, Red, White, and Bill here. You know, it seems like every single time some jackass decides to go out and break the law and murder a bunch of people with guns, that the internet explodes with uh, Twitter and Facebook, you know, both sides, that we need more gun control. We need more guns in the hands of American citizens. I'm not even gonna touch on that. You have your opinions, I have mine. Really doesn't seem to matter what people think because we're not gonna change each other's minds. But I'm gonna touch on something that I did see. Uh, it was a post by who knows, some ignorant person that said, you know, if J.J. Abrams had said, or says that uh, he's not gonna release Star Wars until we have some decent gun control in this country, then you know, the nerds would go crazy or whatever it was. Let me tell you, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I have Star Wars tattoos, I love Star Wars. But I can tell you right now, there is nothing that is worth giving my rights up. My right to bear arms that is given to me in the Constitution. There's a little story in the Bible, whether you believe in the Bible or not, about Jacob and Esau. Esau being the oldest, had the birthright, decided to sell his birthright for a bowl of stew and lived to regret it till the day he died. And I could tell you right now, JJ, and anybody else, if you decided that we needed to give up our rights to see your film, you can take that film and shove it. Because as much as I love Star Wars, there's nothing that's worth giving my rights up for. Anybody that would do that, you're an idiot. They're your rights. You have the right to freedom of speech, you have the right to bear arms. And if you're willing to give those up for anything, you're a moron. I, for one, would say, nope, wrong, don't do it. I love Star Wars and I hope to see the film, but I'm not about to give up my rights as an American citizen and the rights were given to me by the Constitution for anything. Remember that. God bless America.